Copyrights. <laughs> if that happens. Hello, YouTube. Welcome to Cheese Pot. I'm Steve. And I'm Matt. And today we're going to do another taste test of soda pop because that seems to be our thing. Because everybody here. loves soda. So before we get started, you were telling me what is the significance of where we are technically? Oh, where these roads form? Yeah. So we're out in an area of Canada, very close to the you States, know. where uh, Al Capone used to run rum. And it is rumored in several books that uh, the lake directly behind us has several of his cars still sitting at the bottom of it. Really? Yes. Ah, that's pretty mint. So, in the spirit of fun facts, fun facts, I got something specific for you. Oh, but I bet it's not a bottle of rum. No. Oh. It'll make you go, oh, cool! I promise. <laughs> Check this out. Ooh. Oh, no way. Oh, is that ever cool? <laughs> cool. There's mm. probably a couple of these little trucks here, right? Rum running trucks? Yeah. This is Capone Blue Raspberry. I mean, it's win-win. Right? So it's I thought this would be great for out here. I like the color. It looks great, yeah. Yeah. That um, looks like Blue Raspberry, so it I'm kind excited. Of does, yeah. Now, somebody in the comments, comment down below, um, why is raspberry blue? Austin is going to Google it and then t type in, or you're going to rewatch it and write it. Oh, this is why. That's really full, actually. That's really full. Look at that. It's right oh, to the it's top. Oh, it's steaming. It smells like Blue Freezy. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh wow! But it's very subtle. Yeah, you know that's going to be sugary. Yeah, uh, it's going to be good. I think. Uh, you take take it away. You go first. Yep. Yeah. Okay. This now, time. I'm a bit biased because I do have coffee. Uh, yeah, we just yeah. drink coffee. Take another sip. If you don't taste anything. You don't have to. I should have cleansed the palate. Oh, that's fine. You know. I would be taking a, a good a good chug a lug. It's very fizzy. It smells better when there's less in it. It's somewhere between, like, you know how Pop has bigger bubbles and Perrier has smaller bubbles? The bubbles are smaller. It's very subtle, yeah. It's mild. It's not, like, uh, sugary. Yeah. I wonder if there's a, this is actually, like, a somebody made this as, like, a specific, their version of uh, a blue. It could be. Blue liqueur, blue raspberry liqueur tastes like this, actually. Like Or, I've like, slush puppy. Oh, slush yes. Puppy yep, that, yep. That's exactly what that tastes you like. You almost expect it to be a little bit more sour or something yeah, like that, but it's kind not. Kind of a tartness to yeah. it. Yeah. No, it's nothing. It's probably why there's low sodium. There is. A, there's specifically, it says there's sodium, how do you pronounce that? Benz? Benzoate? So is that not sodium? So it's low sodium, but they still put sodium in there? Well, if it's low, it just means there's not lots of it, right? Well, there's no trans fat, so that's good. And there's 40 milligrams of sodium, but... Would you buy that if you saw it on a shelf? Or would it be more of a, because you this, this is where you are, and it'd be like a shelf sitter? I, I would probably purchase that. Yeah? Yep, I think I like this one a lot better than that fog stuff we had last time. www.cfsbeverages.com Caffeine free. Here guys, if you want to take a look quick before we end this video. It's pretty cool, I actually like the label. It's, uh, I like the that the whole label's actually like a city, and then there's a car. As you see, the city cityscape cars. Copyrights. Just, <laughs> so, so, if that happens. <laughs> yeah, no, I. It's okay. It's yeah. I, I bet you if it was chilled. Yeah. Or you. Yeah. You could probably turn that into a po really good popsicle. So we didn't want to chill it just because I didn't want to see what this was before yes. he brought it out. So we didn't yeah. put it in the fridge. But I bet you if that was refrigerated, especially on a hot day like today. We could always cap it and try we, it later. We could, yeah. So on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being flavorful in heaven and 1 being like dirty swamp water as usual. I'd give it a 6.5. Yeah, pretty yeah. good. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'd say I'll, give it a, I'll give it a, a 5. Okay. It's not gross. But it's not lots of flavor, right? It's yeah. very subtle. It's, yeah. That's what I mean. It, the, the, the temperature might change the flavor. It's you possible, know what I mean? yeah. Not, not so much the flavor, but how much you taste. Or it might be also the coffee. I'm thinking that's but, got a lot to do with it, too. We just drank lots of sweet coffee because mm -hmm. of the Bailey glass. Actually, in, in the... It's also we drank rum-flavored coffee as well. So Interesting. We had rum runners, rum-flavored coffee, and rum runner-themed... So family right. secret family secret Capone. yeah nice thanks for watching subscribe like hit that uh notification button to get a little dingle like marcus says so a little dingle i, I like it so do i that was cool <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>